Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D and I just really want to highlight this really great deal that's going on at the moment. So on the Humble website, on their software bundles, there's a Best of Blender Market 2024 and you can pay Australian $45 to get 31 plugins and there's some real heavyweight uh, assets in here. So um, it's got things like Retopo Flow, um, Human Generator, Flip Fluids, Hard Ops, and a bunch of stuff that I haven't heard of this one here, Blend Shop, but I've been using it and it's great. And Gobos Plus, I have heard of that one before, um, and it's also great. Cable Raider I've owned for years, which is adding cables to things, as you can see. Um, so if you actually go over to the Blender Market and look at this uh, product, it's $1,265 worth of everything all added up so all you got to do is you buy it on here and then they give you a code and then when you go over to the blender market and you purchase you put your code in and then it, it's for free well you, you've paid your 45 dollars you don't have to pay the 1200 dollars um so it's got this flora paint you know stylized tree and plants um a few different sky ones i think i already own true sky um but it's got this cloudscapes one uh, emergency vehicles from the traffic update um, it's got a bunch of lighting stuff uh, like this Gobos Plus which is great so um, let's have a quick look at a couple of the ones that I've downloaded planets here physical celestial object objects so um, let's just have a quick peek and look hard ops if you're a plasticity user because I know a lot of people on my channel are so we just duplicate an object Right, we can just GZ it up and scale it down and move it around. So I'll delete that one. Okay, and we can just straight away do a difference Boolean. Okay, and what we can then do is we can start to mirror just Alt X, just like in plasticity. We can add a bevel to this, right? We can also add a bevel to this. All right, you're going to start to get some artifacts because this is where poly modeling uh, doesn't isn't too shit hot, but great stuff. Look at that! I built that really, really quickly, so that's cool. And then we could all also hypothetically go into edit mode and duplicate part of this obviously it's all mirrored across and we could maybe bevel it inside like that right and we've just created a really hard surface object really quickly and if you go to your modifiers stack you'll see that's all there we can apply all perhaps okay so what else is there um, let's open a recent file all right, so this is, if you recognize from my last tutorial, the Hugo Boss Bottle. Okay, so a um, couple of cool things here. Let's just change and let's add in an area light. Just here, lights, area, and we'll just drag it up. Now you have to mess around with it. You turn the spread down to zero and make it a rectangle. And we can just go... 0.5 I guess and then we go into shading mode and we'll go use nodes for our light we can just drag any of these in like this add color and let's just turn our render on and you can see that we've got that there we could drag a different type of tree in right and we're getting these gobos here so that's really cool so now as you can see from above that's what we're getting and that's really cool that's just a really really handy thing and and they're animated as well so you might not be able to see that but you can see that they're flickering around a little bit uh, which is great and then the other thing that we'll quickly look at uh, we won't look at flip fluids although that maybe we will um, it's quite fun so here this is uh, compositing in like a layer stack this is blend shop like Photoshop I guess 
um, so we can delete these right this is our original image right and then we can start to add so what we go up here we make sure we've got camera or always turned on okay with our compositing and let's just um, add an exposure okay so we got the exposure there we can add that and this saves us going over to the compositing tab and messing with all of these nodes so I think this is really cool and then we could I don't know bring the exposure down ever so slightly to get some more detail and then we could add a um, RGB curves right okay and we can just add a little slight S curve on that to bring it a little bit more oomphy and obviously you'd add more lights and whatnot to the scene but I'm just showing you what you can do um, so we're getting this kind of nice sunset um, if we choose our area light we can give it a bit of color maybe up the power All right so we're getting this nice sunset gobos in here and then we could um, there's some fun stuff in here like lens dust right we go okay and then you can increase the strength of it right so we're getting this like lens dust anyway that's really cool I mean it's not it's not Photoshop it's not anywhere in it. it's just blender vanilla blender but you can move around where you might find these things in the curves so you can do color corrections all within blender so if you really wanted to this is really super quick we've got our sliders down here you don't even need to leave blender you can hit f12 to render give it its you know a few moments and then it will be done so as you can see that render was all done um, and I didn't have to do a lot I added I used the two plugins the gobos add-in and the um, uh, blend shop one um, and it's really really great so um, if you want me to go over any other of the plugins let me know um, I might not be able to but I think this is just a great deal so don't miss out on it it's 45 Australian dollars or about 30 US dollars for all of this stuff if you've got it it's definitely worth it even though that these are not going to be updated anyway I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching. Tschüss.